So I got something for you guys today. A brand new sealed copy of Microsoft MS-DOS version 3.30. It's fully still in its plastic wrap. I certainly hope the discs still work after all these years. This The operating system originally came out in 1987. Back then, um, Microsoft wasn't, it was, MS-DOS wasn't really the big operating system. It was IBM PC-DOS. It was really big at the time. And then several years later in the 90s, um, Microsoft really split away with MS-DOS version 5. In some ways, PC-DOS was a little better than MS-DOS, but I just, I, I like using MS-DOS. So yeah, we're gonna open it. And there's my little Kirchhoff knife again. I don't anyone who likes knives. It's a nice automatic knife. I'm gonna try and keep it um keep the um book the book in as good shape as I can. And yes, we are also going to install it. I formatted my drive. So I definitely hope these this works. So if I'm not, I'm in trouble. So yeah, let's go ahead and um See if we can puncture this um, cellophane wrap with the tip of the knife here without damaging anything. I like opening new old stock stuff, it's fun. Yeah, we got the cellophane wrap off. Yeah, there's really not much to this, it's just a book, it's just a booklet. Or a... Yeah, I don't really know what to expect here, I've never opened this before. It actually appears to be a box, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's actually a box. I wasn't expecting that. Let's just see on the side. And it's got the system requirements. 200, 256K memory, one double-sided disk drive. It is your your responsibility to make sure it'll work and all that. Let's see what's at the bottom here. See, As you can see, it says... Copyright 1987 Microsoft Microsoft MS-DOS and that's just there's not much in the box There's really not much on the cover Version 4.0 was similar to this. There wasn't really much on the box there either So when we open this and we get a huge um, user's guide at user's guide and reference guide and I assume the discs are in here that we need. Um, I guess. Let's open up this envelope. These should be the discs. Hopefully they're still good. They're well past their expiration date. And here we get go to Microsoft MS-DOS five and a quarter inch floppies. And let's see. Is it actually all in one floppy drive? It just says program for... Is there anything else in here, I wonder? And I just dropped the booklet, my bad. Yeah, it appears it's just a two-disc set. I did not know that. And that's just QR... That's just the QBasic stuff from basic programming. Let's see, is there anything in this huge booklet? Let's see, I'm just gonna go to the first page here. And it's got a bunch of chapters that I I know how to use it. I know how to do all this, so I don't really have to read that. I don't want, want to keep it the pages in good shape as I can. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the booklet. Now let's go get in install MS DOS 3.3. Here, let me flip the switch here. I actually have to put the disc in, I guess. I gotta restart because I didn't put the disc in. Hold on one second. I didn't have to do that. It would have worked either way, I guess, but just put. You know, it should, it should be the boot disc, I hope. Because I don't have another boot disc for 3.3. .3. That scared the crap out of me. 
I wasn't expecting that noise. All right, it's reading the disc. Mm. Non-system disc or disc error. Huh, that's interesting. Give me one moment here. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened, but that worked. I just restarted it and we now have access to the A drive. So let's just do a directory listing. I may have to do F disk here. Let's just see what's on the file. Okay, there's format. Ah, okay, there's F disk. Do we need, I, we do have a disk. I just formatted, I didn't wipe the partition. So let's just do a Y directory listing here. Does it have a install? I think you literally just copy it over. It's, there's, don't see a setup. I've never done this before. Um, I don't see a setup or an install program. Uh, let's just try setup. I don't see it, but I don't. Yep. Okay, I think that's for an F disk. Just to make sure it's right. Just to make sure I have MS DOS. Um, create DOS partition. We'll create a primary DOS partition. Okay, it already exists. I figured it did. Now let's. Can we actually go to C? Alright, so there is a C drive. So do we literally just do an X copy here? X copy A to C? Nope, that's not a command. Okay then. Oh, I'm not in the right drive for one thing. X copy A to C. There we go. No, I guess not. There's bad command. Okay. Let's do the directory listing again. Yeah, this is really interesting. I've never done, I've never actually had to install DOS 3.0 before. So, uh, let's do another. Once again, I'm going to pause real quick. Is it this copy? Insert source disk in drive A. Press any key when ready. That's the source. I actually don't even know what this is doing, to be honest. Guess we'll find out. It's nice. My guess is this. I hope this is copying your to the C drive. This is actually a new experience when it's kind of fun. The good thing is, I. Yeah, that didn't work. That's just copying disks. So that's not it. This isn't a writable disk. Actually, apparently it is. I'm gonna pause a second while I figure this out. This is new to me. I swear I feel like I'm straight out of the 80s. I actually had to read the booklet. Okay, copy. A dot star. I think it's what? A dot. It's either A dot star to C dot dot star, I think. Okay, this is actually really interesting to me. Okay, I really, this is kind of crazy to me. I feel like I'm straight out of the 80s installing an operating system for the first time. But we do, I do need, I'm going to reformat the C drive because I actually missed some switches when I did it before. I just want to be sure. So we're going to use, I think it's what, a V and do C, V, V. And S. Yes. 
this is gonna take some time, so I'm gonna pause the video again. And format's done. We are going to give it a label. We're just gonna call it um, HDD, I guess. And there are some bad sectors, but that's fine, I guess. And now we, now that I actually know the command, it's copy the a star dot star to C. And I just gotta hope nothing fails. I'm terrified of data errors. <laughs> okay, all files copied. Now we should be good to go, but we are going to have to create a Donald exec dot bat. But for now, let's um, put this back in its protective case. Like you're supposed to do with these copies. So they don't have a guard. And let's go ahead and put this disk in just to see what's on there. That's the directory listing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need this. Cause it's got X copy on there. Shouldn't we just be able to do X copy A to C? Cause X copy's there. Will that work? That really doesn't sound like any hard drive I'm used to. Alright, now we've got all of the DOS 3.30 files installed. Now we should just be able to do a restart here. Control Alt Delete and restart. And it should boot into DOS. Should. Yeah, we're in DOS. Cool. Now let's just do a directory listing. Everything's there. Cool. Sweet. Oh, it hasn't kicked me back into DOS yet. Let's, um... We do need to create an autoexec.bat. So that's the next step. We'll create an autoexec.bat. Okay, we got something really interesting now. I've never actually used inline text editors. So is Edlin even on here, I wonder? It says it is. Can we just type Edlin real quick and see if anything pops up? Okay, his file name must be specified. So it is here, I just don't see it. It must... Edlin... I guess we just do auto exec dot that, right? New file. Okay. So we're just gonna do, um, we're just gonna do a, um, a date. Do we just do insert? Okay. Date. Time. And that's pretty much all we really need, I think. So it's do a um there were some I should check their previous auto exec dot bad. Now we just do E. Oh whoops. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is really interesting. I've never done Edlin before. Alright, I did a restart. This video has turned out to be really confusing for me, so we're just going to type Edlin again. Oh, you do need to create a system config.sys. I forgot about that. Config.sys. New file. I. Now we do need that. So we do have to type. We do need to set some stuff. So let's do buffers equals 20. That works. And files equal 20. Now, how do you actually do this, I wonder? And that's where I messed up before. I didn't press control C. Now we can do an E and we're there. That's the things we need for there. So let's do Edlin auto exec dot back. New file, we're just gonna add date here. I date time. We're gonna add um we're gonna add a um path. We're gonna add a path to A, I think. Path equals A. Yeah, now this should execute when we restart. So let's go ahead and restart here. It would ask for that anyway, I guess. But oh, I want to check something real quick. Let's try setting the date real quick. I'm gonna run a date command real quick. And we're gonna do um, because supposedly this has a re my f a friend of mine who picked who saw this computer said he thinks it has a a clock card. So we're gonna try and test that real quick. We're gonna do um, we're just gonna do twelve, twelve um, eighty eight. And we're going to do a time command. And we're just going to do um, 0. We're going to do um, 1230. Alright, now let's... Now we're going to... Um, actually, one moment. I'm going to delete autoexec.bat. Just so this is gone for now. I'll recreate it later. See if, it, see if it actually remembers the time here. And it does not. Current date is Tuesday. It did not remember the time. Or date. Okay. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have for you. I got so... I have so much planning to do on this computer. I'm excited to show you guys. So yeah, I actually had to use this manual. If I had downloaded from a um, if I had downloaded from just a mirror of it or an image, I never would have figured out how to install this. I swear, I feel I feel like I'm from the '80s having to do this. Things are so much easier now. Even in DOS 6.22, is so much easier. It's got a, it's got an installation program. So yeah, that was kind of fun to do. I'm gonna, I'll set everything up later, but yeah, that's opening, that's what, over 40 years old by now, no, not quite, it's old though, so yeah, see ya, see you in the next one, take care.